All right, what's up guys? So I'm gonna give you guys a quick update on my car and what happened to it. So it's currently not operable and I'm pretty kind of disappointed in how it turned out because it's a brand new car and it shouldn't really be having these kind of problems. So I'm gonna kind of show you guys the, the, all the issues and um, maybe you guys can give me some pointers of what to go, how to go about fixing them. So you guys know I have an Alfa Romeo Giulia 2017, real wheel drive. And um, about, I think it was on Wednesday or Thursday, my dad was driving the car and then he was saying like all of a sudden the check engine light went on and then the throttle actuators weren't working. So like, he kept pressing the gas and the car wasn't kind of moving. It was just going in like limp mode or something. So I came home, I saw the car and um, I drove it. I, it wasn't limp mode and uh, I couldn't actually put in sport mode or eco mode. It had to be in neutral mode, the, the end part. You guys can see it's right over here. I'm gonna go walk it through. It's kind of raining right now, but it should be fine. Let's go. All right, so we're in the car, so we'll see what happens. So like I said before, I could only put it on N mode. I could switch it to D, I could switch it to A, but no matter what, the car will be on neutral. So we have here service electronic throttle. As the car only has 11,000 miles. And then service engine light comes on. Concerning thing of it was when I was looking at the car, the this part, the heat, the engine heater, or the kind of the engine temperature was really high. It was to a point where it was all the way up to the, the top of it, and then it was red. And it was saying how like there's a coolant, the coolant temperature very high, and the car would, um, the car would just not want to drive. So right now the car's on. Um, I feel like I could drive it, but I prefer not to um, until I can take it to a dealer. But I'm actually pretty disappointed. I mean, for a car, it's not modded. I have, there's no modifications on the car. Um, it's completely stock. So why would a car, a brand new car at 11,000 miles have these issues? Those are basically the issues I saw. Um, I was kind of shocked that a car this young to have an issue this big, but then again, it's fine because the car is under warranty. I leased the car, but whether you lease it or buy cars, you do come with warranty um, for a certain amount. And this car is under warranty, so I'm just gonna take it to the dealer on Thursday, today's Sunday. So I'm probably parked for a few days, but um, we'll see what's wrong with it, and then we'll get it fixed hopefully soon and get back driving it. But yeah, I mean, until then, um, I'm not. I don't know what's wrong with the car. Um, maybe if you guys know, give, let me know in the comments what's wrong, or if you guys have Alpha Romeos and have seen these kind of indicators of check engine lights and um, all these diagnostic uh, theories um, the car is giving. Um, if you guys have those, let me know. Let me know how long it took you guys to get fixed. It was like a week, or maybe like a month, or maybe two days. I don't know. But this is the first time I've had an experience where a car I. Kind of, kind, of, kind of I had that broke down on me that I was not able to drive so it's a pretty cool experience it's not a good experience but it, it's an experience in itself anyways thanks for watching I'll keep you guys updated on what happens here I'll see you guys next time